What's going on guys? If you've been following my videos up until now, you'll know that I love make.com. It's made me about a million dollars in the last 12 months. Uh, it's afforded me a really cool lifestyle and it's allowed me to automate like large portions of my business that I used to think were physically impossible to do so. Um, and odds are, if you are here watching this video, um, you wanna do that too. Either you want to be in the position that I'm in or you just find some of the things that I have to say about make.com interesting. Now, there's a problem. And the main problem is the way that make.com is currently being taught is really dumb. It's being taught by a bunch of people that don't really know how to make money on the internet. It's being taught in such a way where there's just way too much of an emphasis on like esoteric sub-knowledge bullshit that isn't actually going to go out there and generate you a positive ROI. And I've noticed that problem and I wanna fix it. So what I'm gonna do over the course of the next 10 or 11 days or so is I'm gonna record a course on make.com aptly called make.com for people who wanna make real money. This has been something that I've thought about a lot. Uh, when I first got started watching and reading make.com tutorials, I was just like, man, I don't care about any of that stuff. Just teach me how to print, dude. And so uh, this is essentially me combating that void in the market right now. I've created a Notion doc that includes an outline and the videos that I'm going to be creating. I'm also uh, leaving a couple of those videos intentionally blank as requests because I know that there are a lot of people that are watching these every day and I'd love to extend the opportunity to like interact with you guys a little bit more, actually build out a system that you guys want me to build. And yeah, it's gonna be an extremely in-depth, high quality, comprehensive course on the 10% of make.com that actually creates uh, and generates revenue opportunities with completely 100% ignoring the 90% that doesn't. So if you've been on the fence about wanting to get started with make.com or if this is your first foray into automation and maybe a friend of yours sent you this video, uh, don't worry, you're gonna know everything that you need to know to like print and make a million dollars in 12 months uh, by the end of this series. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep watching and we're gonna get started with the first video in make.com for people that wanna make real money. Okay, so first and foremost, what is make.com? Like maybe you're here and you just have never heard of make.com before, or maybe it's the first time you've experimented with automation platforms. Well, I'm gonna give you the run through. Make.com is basically a very high quality piece of cloud software that allows you to glue together dozens of different software applications in real time. It allows you to basically become a developer without knowing how to develop. All you do is drag and drop various modules from place to place. And it essentially just empowers the average business owner who doesn't really have the time to learn how to script or do any of that stuff um, in such a way that they can usually shave off a significant percentage of their margins or they can build sales systems or email systems or CRMs or project managers or whatever. And so make.com, in my humble opinion, is a superpower. If you know how to use make.com, anything that you do at any point in time in the next, let's say, five years or so, assuming that that's the lifespan of this, this software product, anything that you do in the next five years is just gonna be like 10 times easier. And so if you think about it logically, given how this is just something that makes everything easier, it makes sense to spend a little bit of time learning how that works just to ensure the rest of your life is uh, as simple and as straightforward as humanly possible. It's not hard to get started. It's uh, software that from time to time has been a little bit rough around the edges, but I think that the, the initial way that I pitched it as glue is about as accurate as, as, uh, as, as you could uh, ever pitch it. Like make.com is just glue, man. It just glues together type form in YouTube or Facebook and Monday.com or ClickUp with uh, Phantom Buster, I don't know. There's just thousands of different software platforms that you can just connect in a very straightforward way, get data from one source, send it to another place, right? One of the core functions of business and make.com allows you to take care of all of it. So this is a Notion doc that I've set up explicitly for the purposes of walking you guys through my rationale for make.com, what the next you know, 10 videos are gonna be like or so. I'm gonna make sure to link this in the video description just so you guys have it and just so you guys can kind of see my POV. Um, this is more or less what the next 10 videos are going to be about. First of all, the goal is I wanna teach freelancers and agency owners and developers how to actually make money with make.com. Um, and I wanna make sure that it's as simple as possible. You don't actually have to have any make.com experience in order to get started. Um, and then I'm gonna walk you through everything from literally like clicking onto the sign up button, putting in your credit card details. I'm gonna like do everything for you so that even if you've like never heard of or thought that you had the, you were a tech person or had the capability to sign up for this platform, by the end of my series, you will literally have just a giant list of awesome high ROI, high producing systems. So that's my goal. Um, the format of these videos is gonna be the same as my usual format, which is long format. Um, I really do not like the ADHD, super fast, you know, 300 cuts in like five seconds type of shit that I'm seeing on the internet right now, and I find it really difficult to focus. So I've sort of like intentionally gone against that grain. 
Uh, the videos are probably gonna be about 20 or 30 minutes in length. Um, and the big emphasis is going to be on like building practical systems that I and many other agency owners at the seven and eight figure levels use in order to like operate their businesses. Of course, there's going to be uh, the first couple of videos where I'm just explaining these make.com basics and these fundamental operations and that sort of thing. You can't really get out of it if you want to build a comprehensive course. But if you are experienced at make.com, you can just skip through those. There's nothing of relevance or importance. It's literally just going to be me going through the entire UX and UI and teaching people that just don't understand some of these concepts. Um, how they can use them to, to make money. I'll also include blueprints to every scenario that I build. Uh, blueprints, for those of you that aren't familiar with make.com, are just a way to like share files between each other. So at the end of this, you will basically just have a giant library of JSON objects that you can import into your own make.com system uh, in order to just like scaffold anything that we've built. And then I may have mentioned this in the intro, but I'm going to be building a couple of these as just like requests Excuse me, sorry, I just had like a giant bag of chips, like a fat ass. Um, I'm gonna be building in a couple of these as requests, okay? If you wanted like a specific system and you were wondering how somebody like me would build it, if you leave me a comment and if I think it lines up with sort of the, the rest of the educational nature of the course, I will absolutely create it. And in this way, I wanna give a little bit back to the community that's been helping me out a lot over the course of the last couple of weeks. And I also just wanna show you how practical um, you know, some, some skills can be. Like you can just take a random YouTube comment and if you know about make.com, you can build an amazing higher OS system out of it. So this is the outline. Uh, this video here is just what is the series, what is make, why do people use it, what's the main strength versus other platforms or coding, et cetera. And I'm gonna get into all that in a second. The next is gonna be make.com basics. So it's gonna be how to sign up, how, what modules are, how to use operations, basically all that unimportant shit I mentioned. Number three is gonna be how to respond to emails automatically with AI in make.com. And this is going to be the beginning of my live practical builds where I'm basically just going to get like an idea. It's gonna be, hmm, I wish I could respond to emails automatically. And I'll show you the thought process that is necessary in order to build that out. The fourth is gonna be how to use webhooks to connect anything to make.com. Make.com is really cool in that it has like 3000 or something different software platforms that integrate natively. But you'll also find a bunch of software platforms that don't. And it turns out most of those software platforms can also be integrated. All you have to do is just change a couple of little things in your workflow. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that to literally like automate anything that you could possibly think of. Then I'm going to show you uh, actual systems that I build on either retainer or subscription for my clients like CRMs. So I'll show you how to build an automated CRM and ClickUp and make.com where you know, we're using make.com as almost like a project manager to ensure that things are getting done on time, uh, ahead of schedule, uh, leads are being contacted when they should be and that sort of thing. The next is I will show you how to automate messaging platforms like Slack with make.com. And so a big use case that I find a lot of companies that I work with, particularly in the coaching and the info product space have, is they wanna like automate uh, Slack or Discord or Kajabi or, or these like message platform onboarding um, flows and they want to like simplify it and, and reduce reliance on humans as much as humanly possible. Uh, I built out tons of companies, uh, tons of systems for companies between the 150k to 200k a month mark that have helped them scale to three, four, 500k. And I'll show you exactly what systems like that look like. Next, I'll show you how to build a hiring system with make.com and a couple of other platforms. I'll probably use Airtable in this case. Um, I have built out these sorts of systems dozens of times. I just recorded a video that you may have seen on YouTube about this exact thing. Uh, but I just wanted to like show you from the ground up how I would go about building this. And this is primarily geared towards like agencies that you know have high turnover and that want to implement systems like this. Next, I'll show you how to scrape websites with make.com. So I'm going to use um, essentially artificial intelligence to help take random data off the internet and then structure it into a format that you can just plug and play into any app. This is going to be extremely valuable if you run some type of like software service or if you want to scrape data from like, um, like a data source, like maybe you want to scrape data from Upwork or maybe you want to scrape data from some request for proposal website or maybe you're a real estate agent that needs like regular listings coming in from Redfin or something like that. I will show you exactly how to do that in a way that basically nobody else is talking about using what are called hidden APIs. Next, I'll show you how to automate PR with make.com. Um, there are a bunch of these like newsletter request for PR statement websites and platforms out there uh, like Haro, Help a Reporter Out, and a couple of other ones. And I've built, a tons, I've built tons of systems that just automatically manage those and then just like passively get links. So if you're an SEO agency, if you're like a software platform that's looking for exposure, this is gonna be a video for you. And at the very end here, before I get into like my request videos, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how iterators and aggregators actually work in make.com. If you're unfamiliar with that, iterators and aggregators are just specific functions that make.com provides to allow you to deal with like tabular array data really easily. 
the issue is uh, they're very easy to misunderstand. And despite you know them being around for like four or five years now, uh, Make.com just still has not like released any type of good education on you know how exactly to implement them. You don't actually need to know them in order to make large amounts of money. Like I did not know them for probably the first year and a half. But what I'm going to do is have a dedicated video just on iterators and aggregators. Um, that'll just walk you through how they work, just in case you need to you know, know them for like the 10% of scenarios uh, that come up. So uh, after that, I will have a couple of slots open for like request systems that I'll build. And I'm just gonna leave those to the end just to give people like a good week and a half to two weeks uh, to come up with ideas or you know, just leave me comments that I can sort of just select the best ones that I think are gonna be the most educational. Okay, that at a bird's eye view is the curriculum. That's some of my motivation behind it. And the last thing that I'm gonna touch on for the end of the video is okay, why make.com? Like, aren't there a bunch of software products or platforms out there that do similar things? Well, dear reader slash watcher, um, you're right. There are a bunch of software platforms out there that do similar things. Like Zapier is one. Funny note, I didn't realize it was pronounced Zapier for like the first 90% of my time using it. You can use Zapier to do the exact same thing that Make can, just costs you a little bit more money. And I find that there's just a little less flexibility and freedom. So Zapier is sort of for people that are even earlier on in their automation career. Uh, but you can do everything that you can do in Zapier in make.com. And you can usually just do it a lot more performant. You can do it a lot more efficient and you can do it at a lot more cost effective sort of margins. Um, there's another platform out there called NA10. NA10 is what I would consider significantly more complicated than make.com. Um, it's not just because you know I'm more of a make expert than an NA10 expert. I've given it a royal try and I've tried using NA10 and a couple of those other no-code builders, but I just find make to be like qualitatively superior in basically every way. Um, it's uh, a lot of the time the operations are faster. You can do better error handling. You can just do a lot more in make.com. Uh, and that really does like touch on that glue concept. A lot of these systems to me seem more like staplers where like you, you know, you staple something and then however the hell you want to like pull them apart, you know, the two pieces just, just, just do not work. Um, make.com is a lot more gentle and it's just a lot more intuitive, I think, for people that are used to dragging and dropping stuff. Um, and, you know, as I mentioned, it's also cheaper. So that is more or less in a nutshell uh, why I like make.com over a lot of the other drag and drop builders. And yeah, this is one of probably the funnest, most exciting platforms that I've ever used in my life. So I hope all of this makes sense. Our first video that I'm going to do on like actual make.com things is going to be on make.com basics. So if that's something that you're interested in, if you are an introductory sort of watcher and you never use make.com, you're definitely not gonna to wanna to miss that. We're gonna cover signing up, modules, operations, like every one of the five trillion tabs on the left-hand sidebar of make.com screen. Uh, you're gonna know everything about the platform by the end of it, but I'm just gonna make sure to package that in a way where it's very clear what you're going to actually use in day-to-day -day and then what you're not gonna use. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are excited about this as I am. If you have any questions, comments, please like, uh, subscribe, do all that fun YouTube stuff, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.